don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins are like assholes and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has one. This episode is sponsored by Black Billionaire Company and Kiara Wine. From left to right, we got Straight Shot, No Chaser, Brandy Danielle in the building. We got Mr. Shoot the Fade, Big Gago in the building. We got LeBrain James, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Arco in the building. God we got the y'all. Scrooge, O Block in the uh-huh. building. And we got Chuck in the back with the facts And last but certainly not least We got the CEO Peso Moolah in the building Moment of silence for the competition Alright one time for the queen One time (laughs) You already know Make some noise for your motherfucking boys Two times. Hello there. <laughs> just <said> hello there. <laughs> Everybody high spirited, ready to get to it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not for real, but we can Do make it, it happen. Yeah, topics, topics, <laughs> topics, topics. And we might as well go ahead and get into what we was talking about before I did the intro, man. Where y'all at with it with this with this personally? I'm ready for this shit to be over. I'm exhausted. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm exhausted at this point. Yeah, but absolutely. Tell me how y'all feel about where we at with the Drake Kendrick Lamar situation. O V Ho. Say O V Ho. O V Ho. This is gonna be a long Champ. summer for Drake. In what yeah, way? Man. Uh, what you mean? That's what you seen what you were just singing. Yeah. Oh man, mm-hmm. that shit has swept the country like a You saying it's gonna be a depressing summer for Drake. Long summer depressing summer. I've already Same declared shit. a winner. Damn, for real? I wouldn't I'm say all that. A winner. I, 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 think I didn't you, say I think all you, that. I think you're casting your vote a little too, too early, early man. Yeah, for sure. Too soon? I just said just off of that one record. Just a little bit. Too soon? I'm not talking about no other records that was dropped. How far are we supposed to go? Man, it's man. over. How far are we supposed man, to take man. this? Man. That shit make me want to crip walk. Have y'all, no seen, crip? have y'all seen the, uh, the Drake BBL action figure? Damn. <laughs> Tragic. How far are we supposed to take this? Hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie with all that. I ain't, I ain't I ready for it to that. stop. It's a little. It's very entertaining. I'm not mad at the healthy it is competition. Very, it is yeah, very bro. Entertaining. I'm ready for people to quit. Like, like OG Fresh. I was quit man. fucking posting about this shit on Facebook. <laughs> as soon as I get on Facebook, the first thing I see is Fresh talking about Kendrick and Drake. Hey, Leave my, my nigga, let them niggas nuts go. Hey, that's bro, it's homie. six thirty in the morning. It's sitting there. Yeah, that that's my say homie too. Four, he, four he, hours I got an episode ago. of Shoot the Fade. He, <laughs> he <laughs> one of the first on guests the on Shoot the Fade. That's my yeah. nigga Fresh. too. Shout out to Fresh, but bruh, wrap that shit up, gang. It was a healthy topic, though. It was. You see how you just said was? Yeah. Yeah, that was four days ago. Three, four days ago. You know how they say too much of a good thing can become bad? Like, he is Saturated. really dragging it, bro. But like, this, I bet if but, I... Cause, but I feel like that's just because it's really something there. He really don't like this nigga. He ain't the only one. Willie he Fly really be on there. But, but this is what I'm saying. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody really going as hard as Kendrick as far as on the... Like, they talking about that Ross shit, but Ross, uh, Kendrick is Man, overshadowing, Ross. dude. So a person that speak on so Ross is the Arco. I was about to say this is the only nigga talking Respect, about Rick Ross. Hey, Respectfully man. so. And before we even get to that, I I love it as a lyrical competition because we don't got a lot of real rap today. Mm-hmm. So to have that and to see that, I enjoy that. Uh, and I think it, if, it, if it was to be anybody that would go against Drake on the lyrical side, though, I mean Kendrick it was, is one of the. Uh, candidates that come to mind to give him a run for his fucking money. Hey, but you know it run deeper than that. I read that uh, Kendrick had gave everybody like free rights. Mm-hmm. So any YouTube content creator, Big w. like they getting paid off that Big shit. W. Like, when, they, let me tell you why that sucks so bad. Why? Because we was playing the songs last week. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, for shit. him to catch up, and we edited it out. Oh, okay, okay. And then after Chuck then did all the work and shit, then he went on and made yeah, it to yeah, where yeah. all the content creators get react and monetize off of it. Yeah, so it's layers to it, I feel like. Shout out to K Doc for that though. Yeah. That's yeah. how you know he for the culture. Yeah. Real he for the I ain't gonna hold you though. I, I don't never listen to the radio. I was listening to the radio, bro. They played Drake's whole seven minute joint on the radio, bro. That shit really beating. That shit push ups. Was- 
three. Nah, the, the, uh, the new one. They got three matter. different drop, switches. Uh, drop, drop and give yeah, me Yeah, then the one after uh, that. Uh, for the matter. Seven fucking minutes. Uh, uh, the heart. I've been really getting uh, trying to keep nah. it PG. Nah, the family nah, matters. Baby, okay. Yeah, but it's all matter. three in one. <laughs> yeah, the family matters. One video. when Because that's a real banger. Yeah. You know, that's the minivan from the Good Kid Mad City album cover. Petty. Love it. <laughs> if if Kendrick keep coming, well, I feel like this. If Kendrick would have been coming how he just did on Not Like Us from the beginning, I I wonder if the conversation would be different. It ain't enough material for that shit. I'm saying because you gotta okay. The reason why I say that is because think about how you was we talk about Drake, right? Drake turned his beef songs into a, into his to where you can c- continually and inf- play them out. So this is the first actual banger on Drake's level. That Kendrick has dropped during this whole fight, and look how we reacting to this shit. Mm-hmm. So if he'd have been coming, like, bringing this type of energy the whole time, I wonder if we would have. If, I wonder if it would have lasted this long. I feel like it's the bait. I felt like he dropped them other songs to bait you in. Uh, uh, tired because you heard me. I was getting tired of the 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 nigga Manai shit. Like I was tired of it. Yeah. You feel me? And. He came with that, and that's undeniable. I ain't gonna lie to you. A banger, bro. That mo- he 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 fuck he fucking him over with Man, that. Let me say this nigga, though. Sixty nine guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say this though. But that lets me know where hip hop and rap is gone to because I heard a lot of people saying that he's too deep and he. I don't want to go through a dictionary to understand what he's saying. I don't. So you have mean to tell me it takes somebody like it takes a song like uh like us. Y'all got he got to dumb it down. That lets me know where y'all where y'all intellect at. But this mm-hmm. is my thing. Last week you said in today's world these niggas. You said if you go and you go read the lyrics, I don't want to have to go read the fucking lyrics to get what you saying. Hey, some of that shit, dude. I love. Like, it. I mean, but dude. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to go decipher and decode and. Facts. Half the time you are gonna have to do that anyway, cause niggas be speaking subliminal and then Metaphorically. like I don't. Yeah. I'm not following these niggas' lives like that. You know what I'm saying? To know what they sneak this about. Never, you know what I'm saying? I gotta research that. That's but why y'all I, didn't know they were sending shots to each other mm. the whole damn time way before this beef, cause but, y'all not reading or listening really year, to they've the They've been lyrics. doing this shit for years. Tell me a, another diss song where you had to decode and decipher for you to be like, oh yeah, he was talking that shit. Uh, let me see. I was about to say it was silence. So Did you, you see what I'm like, saying? Yeah. We talking about black like, before you, this beef or like period? Period in, in rap beef history. When have you ever heard a song where you had to be like, MG, MGK and yeah, Eminem. But, all right, okay. So Drake and Meek Mill. Weird. Weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just straight to the point. Like, I don't want to have to, like, go decode some shit. Mm-hmm. Am I the only like, person that's standing that? What do you feel like I you mean, had to decode, Drake, though? But Drake, I'm but definitely Drake, with you on that. But Drake do that shit, though. He say shit that you have to decode. Cause that's, he what, said, that's what I'm Because in I'm his whole little beef against Kendrick, when I'm listening to this shit, I'm like, damn. I ain't even know nothing about I had to go back and research what he was talking about to even understand what the fuck he was saying. But you know why, though, right? Uh, again, <coughs> but I'm bringing up the fact that everybody's not going, you talking about straight to the point, and he's not one of them straight to the point niggas neither. Hey, I, I think that brings like, uh, more longevity to a diss when it's like, like a week or two or a month later, you go back and hear some shit like, oh, that's what he meant, rather than like a straightforward, fuck you, I fucked your bitch, this. Mm-hmm. I think... When motherfuckers really be putting like them simple little like I mean Kanye said it in the interview like niggas be dropping this is that only if you hear it you would know yeah. Jay Z that's about like you. yeah Jay Z the Jay Z yeah. the king of it so when you go back like it's like when when niggas heard Wayne real G's moving silence like lasagna I ain't catch that line I'm like a couple weeks after probably but it's like damn I want to play this song more now what else is in this shit you feel me? so listen mm-hmm. <clears throat> what Jay Z do is he'll say some shit. That only you'll understand the person that he's dissing. That's not the same thing as having to decode and break down every like. Let's say me and you get into it, and you smack the shit out of me and break my glasses, right? And then you get on the diss song and you say, "Yeah, you think you got body, but your frame is weak." I'ma know, like, bro, he talking about how yeah, he broke my know. fucking. Gla- that's then, that's one thing, okay. but you get to talking about colonizing and uh, ancestors and like. Did you be like well, what I mean, that's because that's nigga? part of that nigga flow though. Like, if that <clears throat> nigga come on, if that nigga really put a record out that was just straight up like not him, like just left lane him. He gonna keep some of his demonic decoding whatever shit Kendrick be rapping about because some of that shit I pass over. Like honestly, Kendrick ain't a, a lot of that shit you top. pass over. Yeah, he's not even in my discussion. Yeah, I had like the pimp a butterfly. Like, like nigga. 
I, yeah, I don't know, bro. That Maybe I, I ain't went wanna, through enough black shit. I don't want to be depressed. <laughs> I, I, I love music. I'm gonna say I love music, and I started. Don't off, laugh at that, Chuck. <laughs> I started off doing music by starting off with poetry. So that's how I started off by doing poetry when I was a kid. On some floor tree shit. Nah. I just don't want to feel I mean, well, sad yeah, as yeah, fuck yeah. when I listen to music. You ain't bro. Know. And not to mention though, you gotta think though. We talking we about gonna a, be all right. Kendrick, they be having you Kendrick is a whole. He's a conscious rapper. He's not even your like from the hood. I'm gonna say I sell dope, bang bang in the club type of rapper yeah. any fucking way. That, exactly. But that's cool. He's a he's a he's a he's a he's a uh, a a a better common. That's real hip hop. Or that's most what I'm saying. Type yeah, of real shit. talk. So you you that's real hip hop. You, you can't like it's I mean, hip hop, but two different categories. Yeah. I think what he's saying. So you're not <laughs> he's not gonna never come like the your uh, your average. Uh, artist, mm -hmm. he's coming from something mm -hmm. totally different. Right. Look, if I can't understand it, I ain't gonna like it. You know, you a beast when you got <laughs> when you got uh, professors from big <laughs> universities trying to dissect your lyrics. They having it as a course. Like, no nah, man, that's black excellence. Shout out to UK, uh, man. Yeah, you keep my man. You keep my man. I respect I love it, it from an intelligent, but in bad. Like, do that shit with your regular shit. Like. When it's time to get busy, I want to hear you. But that's what I'm saying. He got busy, but uh, you think he can really just not keep away his regular shit from, like, getting... You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, is that K-Dot right coming now. in? Right. Yeah. Yeah. He about to whoop your it ass. Actually, <laughs> it actually is. And the big steppers. He whooping feet. Whooping feet. But, yeah. Uh, Size seven. Tell her we potting. Tell her we're potting. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were we saying? Oh, uh, you was the one saying it. Oh, uh, <laughs> K dot K -Dot. Uh, doorbell. Now I was just like I said. I mean, I love for my brain to be picked. So going mm -hmm. back and looking up, you know, the lyrics to uh, Euphoria. That's that disc right there. That's a masterpiece. I'm sorry. Classic. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's up there with with hit them up. All of that. It's up there. Take over. Ether. Sheether. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You said what's like what what's Euf on that caliber? Euphoria. 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 Yeah. It's going Bruh. down as one of it's a classic. <laughs> you don't think that was a classic? Euphoria is a banger for sure. I think it was Euphoria. good. This man broke this man down from everything. How you a culture vulture, how you out here trolling, ain't you tired? This is the same man that was talking about me having Twitter fingers turn to trigger fingers and you on Instagram tweeting memes and stuff. How you gonna tell me drop, drop? Drop you you trying to big me up to hurry up and drop some music on you now I'm dropping music on you and you want to come with the uh with the heart. But did that you know the, the did you know song. the meaning behind drop and give me fifty? Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's, it's <laughs> yeah. shit, man. This all right, this my all right. We me Wait, and bro was talking. What, what my bad. What was what do you think is the meaning of it from the the drop and give me fifty? Uh, what was it like? Top Kendrick's drop. uh deal he was giving uh. What t uh, top dog like fifty percent of everything? Now he giving Taylor fifty percent of everything. Taylor who? Swift. Where the fuck that come from? Ain't he? he I believe he signed, he signed to Taylor signed Swift's, Swift's label. What? Yeah. That's I so think, much uh, I ain't in tune to Kendrick, but I ain't know that. Taylor's Taylor's uh, to the Taylor's producer <laughs> did do uh, Euphoria. If I'm not mistaken, Taylor's did. producer produced so, uh, Euphoria. So do that not make everything that Drake was saying before he? You gotta wait for Taylor Swift to drop Taylor Swift dinner on you. And then Taylor Swift now, drops. That's and irrelevant then, now, baby. How was that irrelevant? I'm gonna tell you now. why that's irrelevant. How was that irrelevant? I'm gonna tell. Hold on. How was that irrelevant? Ask the question again. and I'm gonna tell you. How was that irrelevant? That that he talking about? He got to wait for Taylor Swift and all that. Why? Because he just knocked Taylor Swift off the charts on Apple Music. But when? But that's look Taylor. Up now. Taylor dropped and took them off the number one spot. No, that's look up Apple side Music side right now. No, not right now. Not right now, baby. So whatever he talking about, he got to wait on Taylor and all that type of stuff. He That's did wait on Taylor. Now. So it ain't irrelevant because he, he had to do he, that. He, couldn't. he gave Whether, Taylor a clean week. Man, he gave Taylor <laughs> three weeks. Well, we was waiting on K-Dot for three weeks. And then Taylor dropped. And then all of a sudden, here come K-Dot with all these fucking records. Nah, I'll check the timeline again. Can we fact check that? Check that timeline, baby. Do y'all think that this beef is going to last through the summer? It's over. Nah. I don't think it's gonna last through the summer, but I think we got like another month. No, I don't shit. think it's over. It's over. I'm gonna tell you why it's over. Cause it's a special man. Hold on, y'all know I like to come with my little research. It's a special man by the name of Lucien Grange. Do y'all know who that man is? No. Yeah, I do. I ain't hip. 
That is UMG. That is the Universal Music CEO. Yeah, and you know he owns um, everything is under UMG. Yes. All the Sony and the Interscope. He trying all to make, that yeah. shit is up under UMG at the end of the day. Correct. Drake right now is his golden boy. He finna make. Oh, I did read up on that. That's Cuz name. Okay. Yeah. Lucius. That's what that four hundred four hundred million dollar deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So listen, let me run this shit down for you real quick. Um, Go ahead. Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria opens as one of the biggest moments in hip hop history. Number one on Apple Music in multiple countries. Biggest streaming day ever for a disc record. Biggest streaming day of the year for a rap song, Spotify. Biggest streaming day ever for a rap song over six minutes long. Second biggest day ever for a Kendrick Lamar song. Eighth biggest streaming day ever for a solo rap song. Most viewed rap song in a single day on YouTube in 2024. Potential top 10 debut billboard with only three days tracking. Most viewed rap song ever in a single day on Genius. Well, okay. they got, well, OVO got down on them first. They shot uh, the manager. Yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. But I guess that's them retaliating and coming back for OVO and hitting up the security guard. Did y'all see the OVO logo? With the owl, with the bra on, with that's, the skirt. I ain't hit. Disrespectful. That's what I'm saying, bro. This creativity hey, dude, is and, on and, my and, level. And, and that's another thing, too. Like, the certain shit that he do was saying, if you don't sit and, like, <laughs> you, because he a uh, fat, like, the way he rap, and some shit is slide, bro. But that, he, the way he was just disrespectful, Drake, and that whole brand, bro, was just crazy to me. So, I just, I don't know. I, I fuck with dude. He showed me another side of him that I didn't really expect to see. Word. Yeah, Drake did a cop out in that last one though. He did too much explaining for me. Too much uh, explaining. I mean, yeah, y'all putting pedophile allegations on. He gotta explain. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And for him, and that was some strategic shit. He gotta explain. Yeah, 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 I, I'm ghosting. He sounded so defeated though. It was mm -hmm. like. Yeah, Drop 100 more songs. I'm done. And you know, it was, yeah, how, how much I want to say it sounded, it sounded over it. It sounded like all the ghost writers you left. That's, what, you got <laughs> that's what it sounds like. All the ghost writers, but how much more deep can it go? Like, to me, all I have been hearing is just the deeper layers of like antagonizing each other Ooh. and then family and kids. Ooh. How much more deeper can it go? Right, no diddy, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But now I think this is the most creative goddamn beef we see in like live in action right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And since, we can't even talk since about 50, this. Since 50 and Ross. But now we live in it of like old old enough to understand this shit. And we can't leave out BBL Jersey. It has nothing to do with well, Kendrick in a sense, but yeah, but I love that shit, bro. Like yeah. it's the best beef ever that I'm watching live in front on my phone, you feel me? <laughs> Just hand it to her. They can bring it around. That's crazy. Think, think, think about it. It might be. It's gonna be a minute the next time we see some shit like this. Two big ass heavy hitters. Man, it's gonna be a minute. And the next time some niggas really start beefing, we it ain't gonna even be nothing that we gonna want to talk about because we are gonna be like, who is these? Like, yeah. They don't even sound. Mm -hmm. So don't I don't believe that. This. So what? is this the biggest beef since Jay and us? Yes. I'll say. Yes. I'll, I'll say. Hell no. Nah. It's on that you level. Pocket, yeah. Wait, 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 because then what? what, what you just said, not about Gucci Mane and Jeezy. Nah, yeah, nah, I would say Gucci 50 and Ross. I mean, I'm, but, I'm not saying oh, it's better, uh, but it's like there. They was being real. That was real beef. Y'all forgot about Gucci Mane and Jeezy. Somebody died behind that shit. That was real beef. Yeah. Good one, Yago. Facts. That's oh, I, 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 that's but that wasn't good. at this caliber, though, of like how it's mainstream. But uh, to I be honest, not really, because Gucci wasn't mainstream when it happened. What? Yeah, I guess so. I'll give y'all that. It was a good street. Well, it was they, street. They, they, I didn't know that's what y'all meant. Yeah, that, I didn't know that's that, what y'all meant by that, it was mainstream. That happened, well, I that mean, happened <laughs> when he dropped so I didn't know that's what y'all meant. I mean, you the, know what? The versus battle was that mainstream, was, though. That was, I mean, oh, that was like 03, well, yeah. 04. The only way you yeah. can really judge it, you got to base it off the people that was beefing at the height of each other's career. Like, Tupac and Biggie, they was both at that peak. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 50 <laughs> and Ross, they was both at a peak. Uh, even 50 and Ja. Ja was the biggest nigga in music whenever 50 think, Cent started the... You think 50 and Ja's beef... I mean, 50 and Ross beef was bigger than 50 and Ja's beef? Mm -hmm. Nah. Hell. Oh, niggas got say. stabbed and yeah, shot. I, and say, them, I was in niggas, tune on that. Niggas is in jail till this day. Uh, Supreme. Niggas mm -hmm. is in jail till this day behind that shit. It's some bullshit. Yeah. But I think it is at the Tony Ayo smack... They career, though. Ooh. Tony Ayo smack Supreme son. Give me... I need, a nigga, like, I need a nigga like Ayo on my team, man. They was bullying uh, Murphy. <laughs> they was straight bullying that nigga Murphy. Is loyal. There is no I smell murder. Why that nigga rich on tour? The two most loyal niggas is Tony Yayo 
Yes. And Spliff Star. No, nah, Spliff for sure. <laughs> There's no two niggas more loyal than Tony Yego <laughs> and Spliff Hold Star. On, you, know Tony, Spliff? you called him Tony Yego. My bad. My <laughs> bad. Ain't nobody, <laughs> more, loyal. Ain't nobody, Ain't nobody no more loyal Spliff. than Tony Yeo, <laughs> Spliff Star. <laughs> And my nigga Yeo, man, <laughs> give me some, baby, give me some, baby. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think as far as like being at the peak, it was Jay Z and Nas who's bigger, and now it's Kendrick and um. Well, no, the, the peak right. peak is really Tupac and Biggie. You think so? Hell yeah, that was a coast to coast niggas not like yeah yeah yes. yeah for sure. You that had the, two different coasts. They started a whole world. Civil war, man. Yeah. Yeah. Civil war for real. Like, and both of them, I'm living in Ohio, both, talking about West Side. I'm talking yeah. about I'm on West Side. Both of them died into that too. If, yeah, if sure. it was really connected to it, it but, was. You know what I mean, so yeah, yeah. I don't see Drake and uh Diddy Kendrick won. dying over. Diddy won that beef. Show Damn. Damn. So I say one. <laughs> I already mentioned Tupac, Biggie. Second like place. Detail it. Second place, Jay and Nas. Third, of course, Drake and K Dot. I mean, that's a, that deserved an award by itself. You got the top beefs. <laughs> oh. That's the big three right there. Yeah, yeah. facts. That, that's the big three. The T.I. and uh, Flip. Man, fuck out of here, little Flip. Nah, <laughs> I heard little Flip in he the building. I'm saying T.I. and Gucci. Gucci's this was better. Punk yeah, ass to the stage. Gucci's this was better. That's what type of nigga Gucci, walk around in a leprechaun suit is. with a leprechaun charm and some leprechaun boots? Bro, <laughs> the shit out of Tiny. And what kind Bro. of king wore a three piece suit in the middle of the summer with some. Hey, what'd he say? What? Hey, that Whoa. nigga went crazy on them niggas. Mm mm mm. All right, so we're going to get off that. I'm pretty sure we'll have something else to talk about next week. No, nah, I'm done talking about it. I'm, I'm not speaking it. on Kendrick Lamar and Drake <coughs> publicly no more after this. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Teen accused of four Ohio murders at 14 years old sentenced. What they give him? A teenager accused of committing four murders when he was 14 years old has been sentenced. McKean Thomas, 17, was sentenced to over 30 years in prison on Monday, according to our news partner, w WCPO in Cincinnati. Mm. They also allege that he took part in three other contact killings that happened between January and February that year. Mm. Mm. Contract Three killing. years later? When you say he was 14, now he's 17. Crazy. He was a little hit, They man. waited till he Accused. was 17 and charged. will spend over 30 years in prison for committing that? four oh, murders when he was just 14 <laughs> years old. Prosecutors said in February of 2021, McKeem Thomas shot and killed Terrence mm. North as an audition for getting paid to kill people. Prosecutors say Thomas took audition. part in three other contract killings later that month. Now, the ringleader of the murder for hire plots is serving two life sentences without the possibility of parole. A new all right. Damn, so they gave the nigga that hired him two life sentences? No mm -hmm. no parole. Mm -mm. He's fucking done. Mm -hmm. That's a, uh, what's Lil Boosie's home, uh, little nigga that he had, uh, allegedly? Yeah. Out there hurting people? Yeah. He in there for the rest of his life, ain't he? I believe so. Yeah. Because he the one yep. that had told on Boosie, mm -hmm. and then he recanted his story, and that's how Boosie was able to get out of prison. Yeah. He got to get murdered in jail for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got more than one problem. <laughs> yeah. I was locked up. I was. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, I yeah, can't hear you. At? I don't know, where are you at? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Here we. Uh, okay, it's a shortage uh, of my shit. It's the cord. It's the cord. How does that move. cord keep making its way back? I don't understand why. I'm trying to tell you how to throw it away. So, uh, you the cord? What's wrong with All right. it? You with the cord, man? So, um, <laughs> I was right? locked up with a nigga from. I was locked up before. We'll talk about it later. Uh, with a nigga from Cincinnati <laughs> that had a case like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That murder for hire shit. And uh, it was, you know, nigga went down and somebody else went down, you know, but that shit, what they, with him, they held him. He been charged. They just held that. They held him till mm. he was seventeen. The charge was the time of the dollar. Cookies. So by the time, by the time the paper, like by the time he gets sent up and all that shit. Mm -hmm. They bound him over, charging him as an adult, sent him to the adult prison. So now he already in the, you know what I'm saying? Once mm -hmm. he turned 18, they can send him wherever the fuck he gonna go. He didn't already, didn't but already he's beat. cooked. But he's cooked though. He beat. Mm -hmm. He got charged already. And if he copped out, if he copped out, he ain't got a fighting chance. Mm. He 
He ain't got a fighting chance. Any nigga getting a body, I just recommend you. You might as well go to trial. You might as well go to trial if they motherfucking telling you that. Because if you cop, if you cop out, you can't go for an appeal. You can't. Right? You can't appeal it. You stuck with this sentence. But if I go to trial and I lose, I have a. Fi- I still can appeal the decision mm-hmm. of this court. It might take forever in a day, but I have a chance to appeal it. If I cop out, I don't have a chance to do nothing. It's over with. Yeah, twenty mm-hmm. better than thirty. <laughs> Shit, mm. I mean that's still. Yeah, I mean yeah. So we're in no condition to do a twenty piece right now. Yeah, I can Shit. do hours. Shit. Shit, I did a week in the county, baby. Let me tell you something. What? And what happened? <laughs> that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there, kumbaya. I'm giving bitches motherfucking pep talks. It's gonna be all right. Quit crying. I think I'm getting bonded out or shit. No. Went for my court date. They scratched the date. I'm in there for a week. Hey, I'm calling JJ to pull her docket. I need to pull, see what's going on. Don't you know. Don't do that. I'm a changed person. I'm a changed person. But is this, I mean, like, what is his mo? Like, is this gang related? What is he out going? Man for hire. He got, he got paid. I say he, yeah. Damn, see, he was like another little yummy. And that's the whole thing. It's easy to manipulate. Uh, Robert, what is his name? Yeah, Robert said for money. When that's all Damn. get flashed in their face. Yeah, especially and, when I get shit going for himself. Yeah. And the older nigga probably yeah. told him, like, shit, you're only 14. If you get caught, <laughs> you only gonna do such and such amount because you're a minor. You mm-hmm. feel me? You young. Mm-hmm. Nah. Trying to groom him. You know what and I'm saying? I, yeah. I interviewed with somebody. Uh, he he, had mur- he he from the city, too. He had murdered three people. And they he said they gave him some shit called Juvie Life. He was, like, mm-hmm. 13 or 14. Get out of the juvie life was twenty one. Yep. yep, and I'm like, what the fuck? That was that's that's called. I was I went I've been there. Uh, it's called ODYS, mm-hmm. Ohio Department of Youth Services. And he said that shit worse than. It's like it's mm-hmm. a juvenile penitent. It's a juvenile prison. They have uh, a couple of them been shut down, but the main one a lot of people have uh, go to. You hear them say is the Ky- is Cuyahoga Hills. It's up in Cleveland. And listen, he said that shit worse than. Gladiator school. Matt. If you don't know how to fight, nigga, Prisons. you coming out of that motherfucker knowing how to throw a punch, yeah. mm-hmm. or you going or you just gonna be the, cause like up there they don't have no hole or what we see in prison movies or whatever like segregation type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's crazy. Uh, that was about to say they they have, they have put you in a box. They got this thing called the box. So it's only it's one box in every unit. Mm-hmm. So if me if we get into it, they gonna put me in the box on this unit, and they gonna put you in the box over there. We only in there for a couple hours. If it ain't settled when that when we come out, we either hitting again, we either hitting again, or it's over with. It's either it's over with or we hitting again, and we going to the box again. And up there, a lot of them at that time, it was some city shit. A lot of, like up north niggas didn't fuck with us from down here. Mm-hmm. So Dayton and Cincinnati niggas will be fighting. Cleveland and Akron and Canton niggas and then it'll be Dayton and Columbus niggas against Toledo, Cleveland niggas like er- like everybody mm-hmm. crazy. Mm, mm, mm. The shit was crazy kids. for sure. So we talking about is, kids though. Yeah, we and we kids. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if y'all seen the actual photo of him. Let me see. <clears throat> you know, not you know, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. But ain't no guns in there. Ain't no guns in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That Respectfully. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. Can't fight. That's a picture of him. That, that's a, I, whether if he can or he can't. Yeah. But I, I don't know. You got to be a special motherfucker to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the, your 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 mentality shit. I, I I think he can. To go, to go do it for I some think, money at that. Yeah, like, I think he can defend himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, He'll be all right. He going to be all right for sure. At this point, he been locked up three yeah, years. Yeah, he yeah. better know something. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit. <laughs> he better know something about right. this point. Or the nigga mental, he's a sociopath. He don't, have no, he don't have no sympathy, no empathy. It could be mental too. Same Emotionless. Yeah, hey, yeah there you go. Emotionless. A sociopath. Face mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So, heavyweight boxer, Artie Nadimbo, 27, passes away three weeks after devastating knockout that puts him in an induced coma. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, and I'm a heavy and and I and I'm a hitter. I've been fighting my whole life. All my life, all I my, had to all fight. my life. Hey. But I don't want to fight no nigga that hit hard like that. <laughs> hey. I'm inspired to hit hard like that. So that's the goal. If I hit a nigga, I'm trying to punch through you. Hey. But hey, that is punch. a hard. 
He put him in a coma. Soul out especially, yeah. especially if put he was hitting him in the back of the head. And that's why now, that's now it does depend on how the punch was given. And if you hit him, because them, yeah. in, in boxing you you can't hit get yeah. can't get hit the wrong way. Yeah, and it, it has this type of effect, and that's the tragic. That's the tragedy of the of the sport. That's yeah. you know what I'm saying? the risk that's, of it. That's the sad part of the sport. But if it, he didn't, and he put you in a coma like that. I want to see that combination. I want to see how he hit that nigga. I don't yeah. want to see hey, the combination. Hey, I'm about to find it. <clears throat> Listen, Artie Nadembo, 27-year-old heavyweight boxer, tragically passed away on Thursday following a brutal knockout defeat that left him in a coma. Nadembo previously held an unblemished 8-0 record prior to suffering the vicious knockout blow from opponent Nestor Santana during a match in the Team Combat League on April 5th, rendering him unconscious for an extended period in the ring. He was rushed to a Miami hospital where doctors placed him in an induced coma for three weeks. He scumbled. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. He succumbed to the injuries. I'm not stupid, child. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, bro, it looked like it. That's some bullshit because that, like, nigga, I'd be pissed, bro, in the afterlife. Like, I don't even remember how I died. Mouth died. <laughs> like, I don't even remember how I got here, God. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Son, I went into a coma and son, then I died. Son, you was competing. <laughs> Damn. But man, this comatose nigga. Shit happened uh, like he, that all the time. He though. died off a jab to his mouth. He did. Well, they said he in a coma. They ain't say he did. Yeah. Oh no, he's done. He's he been he in a coma. That's all I'm saying. He was in a he coma. In a let, coma. Me run it. let me run the let me run the the caption back. Heavyweight boxer Artie Nadembo, 27, passes away. Three oh, weeks man. after devastating knockout puts him get, in the. Oh, you get stone. knocked out. You go in a coma and then you die. Mm. Probably brain dead, and they went ahead and pulled the plug. Mm -hmm. That shit tough. Yeah, man. rest in peace. That's why, bro. man, I'm, I'm a big fan of boxing. Y'all can see on this pod, and that's why I, I give the utmost and respect to them. His head when he fell back, but that jab did it. I do. I give the utmost respect to uh to boxers going there. People are like, oh well, they getting millions. They deserve them millions. Mm. Right. Not only are they entertaining us, <coughs> but they literally going in there putting but they, they like, like you feel me. I can't remember the. Uh, it's another uh, boxer. I think he's. Uh, he's a. Uh, I think he was a Mexican. I ain't sure, but I forgot his name. But uh, he went against a black boxer, and if you watch it back, old boy kept hitting him in the back of the head. The ref warned him a couple of times, but now nah, uh, the, the ref should have really. You feel me? Cut it out, white. Yeah. White flag. And you know, uh, after the fight, he was cool. Went backstage. He started feeling like he was uh, like having headaches or some type of. You know. X Men. He was in a um in a uh, coma now. Like man, he a vegetable. But it's no niggas, disrespect. It's niggas that be on that shit. What's what's the one uh boxer? He was the clip was going around to this day. Um, Wilder. Dante Wilder. <coughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that nigga was on Breakfast Club talking like like I want to have a body, like on on some boxing shit. He like man, I want somebody to he you know he ain't say it mm -hmm. on on the Breakfast Club like that. But he was like man, I want a body. Like I want to be in there defeated and all of that. I'm like man, this nigga's sick. Mm. Like he's in there I, I trying get, to kill you. Yeah, now right, every right. opponent, that's, yeah. you got to keep that in mind. Like this, this nigga trying really to kill me. wants to kill me. He like, can't legit. kill shit right now. Kill Wilder me. weak. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, there. that nigga Tyson and took his soul. Yeah, man. he ain't been right since he lost to that nigga. Yeah, yeah. He he had a he got he won. I seen him fight once. After that, he won. He won that fight, but, but it ain't the same. It, he he's definitely not the Wilder dad. Before he fought uh, Tyson. Yeah. I'm glad you I think said he's supposed Tyson. He's going to fight next month, ain't he? Jake Powell. They didn't sanction this to be a professional fight. Dude. You might want to get the fuck out of this. <laughs> you better <laughs> run for it. Run <laughs> for it. That's some run. wild rules that I don't. Motherfuckers is back. It. It's unsanctioned. I mean, it's a sanctioned match now. Like, it's going yeah, it's it's to go on a regular record. boxing rules. Yeah. It's, it's going to count. Go, it's going to go on a record. record. Yeah. So if you win, it's going to count as a win. If you, you lose, you can knock him out. You beat Mike now. Tyson if you beat Mike Tyson. Like, it ain't like a. It's not. This ain't Roy. I mean, Floyd Mayweather and. uh. I and, think, uh, yeah. Logan. Logan, Logan. this ain't nah, that. But I really wish this turns out in our favor. I don't got time for no goddamn it. 
Tyson knocked out by a fucking YouTuber, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Or I'm even gonna pull, lost. I'm yeah. gonna pull the bullshit, man. For Tyson, damn near sixty. Mm. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making excuses. Yeah. What? Hell no. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting you know that. Going I'm, out like that. <clears throat> I'm making an excuse. Hell no. yeah. I just don't see it, bro. Hell Tyson no. too aggressive for him. I'm black, y'all. You ain't. You I'm ain't. Black, this, y'all. This, this, this the whole thing, though. Like, prime example, right? That's like a. Uh, uh, Already mm, told him what it's like in like wrestling. A, like a like. But like Mayweather and McGregor, right? You putting the motherfucker in this ring, bro, who mastered this per- the master this shit. McGregor is a uh, he can master that octagon. Mm-hmm. Mayweather mark them four corners. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So you putting this day, uh, even though Logan he made, I live this, just and like I've been it, and I've been doing this hey, long, before you was even born. Logan, right? Just like if it was vice versa, because if you would have put. Him in the octagon, Conor McGregor with shine. Be you ain't ready for this roundhouse and this flying what? elbow yeah. and all this other so, shit. And you, and, 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 <laughs> and you got to think, Tyson is <laughs> not your average boxer. He's not coming in with no jabs or nothing. He's coming in with the mentality. I'm coming <laughs> to kill you. So, so that man, that that Wilder mentality. He's not coming to play. He's coming to bite and shake. Nigga. I watched. He, Jake he Paul's held back fight. on Roy Jones. He held back on Roy. Yeah, because he had yeah. to. Yeah. I watched Jake Paul's fights, right? And I seen so many times where little Nate Robinson, boom, rocked him. Mm. Or whoever else he was fighting, boom, rocked him. And I'm like, oh, that was Mike Tyson. He was a dead fucking man. Yeah. Only fuck how old Mike Tyson is. If he if Tyson connect like like they was connecting on Jake Paul, it's over. He said, for don't let bro. them. He said, you see these right there? The gray hair follicles, you see that? Don't, don't let them. Don't need, that I, means seniority. <laughs> like, like, for real, I don't see him withstanding one of those punches from Tyson, bro. And, he did hit one, one of them, bro. Dude going night. It's, for sure. He down. And that's some skill over talent shit, bro. It's like how Mayweather mm-hmm. going in the ring. Well, he did an interview. That nigga, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to get him by like the seventh round. And the nigga got him at the seventh round, so it was just like that nigga already had it in his head. Toy with him, bounce around, get them, get them punches in, and seventh round, all right, he wins it. Like it's it's a, it's a skill thing. Now Tyson, he better be hitting them cold baths or whatever to you know get that sixty year old body right. Get some icy hot on you. Yeah, because now little Ben yeah. Gay. Yo, yo. <laughs> don't do Mike. But yo, but yo, warm ups is with a nigga that can barely even take your Have shit. Y'all been with seeing the him train? Yeah, for sure. Bro. I'm still they scared. Must yeah, him bro. Train. I'm still yeah. scared of Mike Tyson. I'm about to say, day. bro, I'm sixty is old, him. but sixty ain't. He ain't old, sixty. Bro. Like. That's what I'm saying. 50. This nigga ain't 60. He ain't even 55. This nigga like 53, 54 oh, yeah, years see, old. Yeah, I, I was exaggerating. He got Never plenty left in the tank, bro. Nah, like, dude, like yeah, he 50. He early, early 50s, bro. Plenty left yeah. in the tank. He, he really big, got bro. it. When did George Foreman come back? Was George, he? George Foreman. <laughs> he came back when he was like, <laughs> let me, I got to look that up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look nah, that up for me, Chuck. When he came old. back to boxing, George Foreman. Yeah, because he was preaching for a minute. George was like 40 something years old when he came back. But his training videos, he's still fast as fuck. Yeah, come on. That's what I'm saying. So again, when he, yeah, that's he like muscle gr- memory. And though. he's aggressive. So yeah. when you ain't been in the ring with nothing like that, you ain't gonna know how to you ain't gonna, you gonna, you gonna Thank you, be Chuck. trying to be pretty and get Yeah, come on, man. As soon as Tyson see an open, it's a slow for him. Yeah. Slow for him. Hit him with a body, a body and head is going. Yeah, it's over with. Out. His big brother gonna want to fight Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I like, seen some talk. shit like that. They supposed to uh, Logan gonna want to come fight Mike. Don't quote me because I don't know these YouTube videos. They was putting up all this shit. It was just like. If need they they did in there then they were saying they could do some tag team shit. Man, let them. I would love to see that. <clears throat> like tag team against Tyson on box. Oh, oh my god. god. Lord. How are you gonna have a tag hey, team y'all boxing match? Hey, because they're trying, the, they're trying to make it like cuz got the upper hand like the leverage of making the rules. Take your court for me. You um you know it's funny Tessa. when you said his big brother was gonna wanna come. He gonna he gonna show up for a boxing match and put the United States championship. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad he gonna be on it. He gonna put the title like, up, man. I'm definitely be in tune of that motherfucker. Yeah, so check that. So you a wrestling fan for real, bro? Low key. Low key? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. No, I was down with the Chris Ben Wiles and NW. Hey, Rose. shout out to Chris Ben Wiles. You know, I hope we get D Lo Brown, you know. My guy. Nah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with wrestling though, man. That was my shit. The pay-per-views is good times, man. You remember uh, did you Stone say shout Cold. out to Chris Ben Why? You remember yeah. Stone Cold uh had Mike yeah. Tyson not Shawn Michaels out? Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember this? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Damn the young Mike Tyson. With the fro. Tyson with the fro. I think that was my first Sad. pay-per-view. 
That was the first pay-per-view my grandma bought. With the one gold too. Shout out to mm. my grandma for that. <laughs> Grimy. All right, so look, y'all know we I told y'all today we was trying something different. We didn't come in with a song, but we about to play what we call the sleeper of the day. And today, since Peso was the guest, this is his sleeper and it's Julio Mook added up. Brought to you by Black Beard. The only plan is get the lead and run the clock out. I shoot and if I miss, I'ma get the rebound off the box out. A nigga been down before, but I learned how to come back and win. I had to develop my chin. That's how I'm taking these hits and getting back up and all of the fights that I'm in. I need me a 600 bins with the title in the crib. Only way I can do that is if a nigga locking in. So I've been sleeping at the yo. I've been getting up at four. I've been taking 12 hour trips across the state lines Then I'm right back to the lab dropping on the wax Dropping part of me on the track Checking on my kids on the app Make a nigga wanna move the chains Got a nigga focus on the stack I done put the family on my back Hello. I could never throw the towel in Nigga, I'ma use it for the sweat Hello. Never quitting, that's a bet Not till zeros on the clock I'm trying to look at my account And all them zeros be a lot I'm trying to walk up in the spot Tell that nigga what I want don't be trying to show me nothing. I already know what I'm on. Only trying to level up. Everything else secondary, nigga. Only worry about up. Only worry about the time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. The time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. Only trying to level up. Everything else secondary, nigga. Only worry about up. Only worry about the time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. That I'm putting in, it's gonna add up. Uh. I've been focused on a certain thing. Hello. When you're trying to take a game to another level, trust me, you gonna need a certain thing. Julio Moog. Okay, Julio okay, Moog. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fucking with that. All right, so check this out. <laughs> Is he wrong or justified? Man ends five year relationship with his girl because she tattooed R.I.P. with her baby father's name after finding out that he passed. Thoughts. Let me see. I think you got some audio. Oh, yeah. Play that video. Question. Am I wrong? I just ended a five-year relationship with this woman because she found out that her baby daddy got killed about two weeks ago. And she always told me how they was close. They had good co-parents. And I ain't going to lie. You know, everything been straight. Never thought anything of it. But she just texted me today talking about she went to the tattoo place and got his name tatted and shit talking about R.I.P. him. Bitch, what? Bitch, that shit over with. She got this nigga name tatted. She like, oh, but he's dead. That's my child's father. We had a good bond and I'm forever sad. Um, And all this shit. I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You single. Obviously, your loyalty lied with that nigga. So, you know, I don't give a fuck if it's been five years. You got this nigga name tatted. Can't he your baby daddy. Get obituary. <laughs> yeah, that's what normal people do. Well, fuck. All right, man. I'm petty. I ain't that petty. Shit, I'm out of there. Man, yeah, I, well, I'm minute. Petty LaBelle, baby. Well, that means, all right. I'm that Petty mean Cougar. Cougar. Petty LaBelle. Cougar. Might not, <laughs> he might not just be cool with Shit. the baby daddy or something. But goddamn, five years. That's I don't know, man. I ain't no Dr. Phil ass nigga. Word. Nigga, I'm letting you go to the funeral with the kids. Yeah, that's go as to the funeral, go. go to the repast, the talk skin. to the mom. That's, that that's as far as it go. That's a conversation we had before. Like, if you wanted to go to your ex, if your significant yep. other wanted <clears> to go to the, the ex's funeral, how do you feel about that? But this is a whole nother level, man. Yeah, like, man. Are you putting this shit on your skin? Like, I'm so petty. You put that thing on. Put you put that bitch on you. Then tap my name yeah, on your face. Yeah, I can't be. I can't be <laughs> down, like, yeah. Like you, like, you then the, the left eye. See that nigga tatted. Yeah, the side eye. Like uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's already. Yeah. So right. I'm about what? to say y'all already <laughs> verbatim. Bitch, what? Yeah. Y'all already what right. together? You know what I'm saying? Right. You feel me? <laughs> so quotation <laughs> like you wait. You, That's funny. Because why do it now? You feel me? Like, y'all remember what he said last week about people messing with their baby mamas and baby daddies? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. For real though. Like, That's disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> you, ain't even, you ain't even got my name on you. Yeah, I was just thinking the hell? That, like what. Yeah. You got me messed up. It's over. And it depends on where you got it at. Right? Said, bitch. Yeah. Go visit his grave. <laughs> you get that old bitch word. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, that's how bad. you. Hey, 
this is the first time in pie history he I haven't heard him say not one fucking word. I feel like he got a story that's on his heart. It ain't was that he. You know how when you you know when you be a visitor, you ain't been to church in a long time, and you and you the visitor, and for some reason the pastor happens to find you all the way in the back of the. (laughs) You step, come here. So I know you got a testimony on your mind. I know you got a testimony. Really, you just a a face that ain't seen in that month. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Right, trying to baptize you today. You stupid. But what's up, man? What you? How you feel? I, I mean, I. Don't. I agree though. I w- I wouldn't. If, for one, that's not something that I would do, and that's not something that I would accept from nobody else. Like, again, like, yeah, and especially if my name ain't already on you type shit. Mm-hmm. So, do that make a difference? I, if it, your name is already on her. Uh, uh, Damn, no. You want to give me something else to blast yeah. yourself, blast your ass on that part? But no. Nah, it really don't. I'm still probably gone. I'm going to have to take a sex move or two out of my repertoire. Yeah. Man. I'm because a, if like you got I'm it on your back. Oh, we. Yeah, I, love, a, I love giving back, back shots. Respectfully. I, you got this Wait a minute, minute Nino. I love Man, you thinking the time, time out. So, it, it, Nino. That's all I'm saying. Where's she getting the tattoo? It don't matter. It, if I turn you around and I lift your leg up and I'm like... <laughs> This nigga. It shouldn't even be in none of those areas, Nino. That means she really love that nigga. That, that's what I'm saying. Real, real. Because if I'm going bareback splash and I'm it can be on her wrist, crazy. Turn her back like this, like plot twist. Mm, 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 mm. What if you ask her to get your name tatted over it, or you leave? Would that be an option? That's, Fuck. A, that's a wonderful option. The only <laughs> option. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I mean, the only, the only way. Had to five Cause not because for some reason, and you know, we all was like, "Fuck it, it's over." Yeah, it bro like, came with a reasonable. Yeah, you can get, up. cover that shit up. Yeah. Listen bitch. though, the only <laughs> and you getting a bitch on it. The, <laughs> listen, the only way that tattoo would even be feasible is if, like, all right, you put it somewhere like where his name is right here. Then you put my name right here, and then you put the little graph chart up under it, and it's uh, like it's levels to this shit. Or <laughs> so. Oh, he petty. But to me, so you trying to he put, petty? He's trying such to put a nigga dead, trying to though. Oh, oh, to take oh, I got a better one. But he did though. I got though. a better one. Here come the brain. That motherfucker gonna say moment of silence to the government. Oh my <laughs> god, you going to hell? Hey, drink to that, man. Oh, he's man going one to hell. time. That's toxic as fuck. <laughs> that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna make her leave. That. <laughs> that, that's when the plan backfired. Like, damn, bitch, I was yeah, oh, supposed to leave you. Oh man, did it backfire or did it work? That was funny. I cannot. Thanks, I, man. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she got to shoot this shit, y'all still gonna have to see it for at least about. So y'all saying if uh, y'all make her retat y'all name over it, y'all gonna still have to see it because it take time. Yeah, for I'm that gonna wrap it for you. I'm gonna put the Vaseline on. Oh, you not you gotta go through the scab phase. Yeah, you know, all slap that. it. Yeah, and yeah. then I might leave her after that. Or <laughs> we could just get that motherfucker took off completely. That's too much. Man, what you, her skin raw, she can't do nah, that. Nah, you deserve that. Another, hey. doing that stupid shit to begin with. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, day it's going to be her. You just, said you're hurting it. Nah, I ain't saying scrape that motherfucker off. I was about to get it. Now, you know they got, they, yeah, they got, the you know they got tattoo removal oh, where okay. they do laser. And they say that shit. Convince her to get it covered and then leave her after that. This fool said witch hazel that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Before we get to, let me see, let me see where we go. Oh, y'all are crazy. Fire topics today, y'all. Did y'all see Jim Jones in the airport? Uh, Hey. (laughs) Buddy clowning, ain't he? My guy. What's going on? They tried to jump Jim Jones in the airport and he got the flinging motherfuckers around and shit, punching on people and shit. Let me see. I wish I could have helped him. Hold on, I got to find it. Try to it, it was too clear. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it like you. Like too clear. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> clear. <laughs> Try to. They ain't know who Jimmy was. I don't think so. so Hell nah. I don't think so. <laughs> they going down Rich the escalator. Black, right? Ain't that what it's called, Nino? Talk about Sue Wu Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it started on the plane though. Uh, uh, look, uh, talking about diplomat boy. Jimmy. Talking about diplomat Jim Jones slander. No dip set slander. I, I know. We fuck with the sets. Oh, okay. And I named my son after Jim Jones. For real? Yeah, oh. I got a yeah, okay. capo. I got him tatted on me. Yep. That's tight. Cocaine so weighted down. Is, is, is that your favorite rapper? Yeah. 
For real? Diplomat. I ain't gonna lie. Jim Jones, mm-hmm. I would have never thought years ago that I would say today, Jim Jones is the best rapper in Dipset. Nigga, on my way to church, all the mixtapes. Now? I still think Jim Jones. Nah. Jim Jones is the, the best, best rapper in Dipset right now. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, no. Cam, I love Cam, Cam, though. Cam was the front liner. He had the witty witty lines. Keep, keep computers Hey, That nigga Jim Jones really be spitting now, uh, bruh. Like, oh, oh, so Cam, you, Cam freestyle like mic crazy. Cord. Like, now, right you now? Oh, we got to do away with that. Damn. Chuck, can you go Damn, grab another mic cord, please, sir? But go ahead. You saying now as if, like, dude ain't, like, he been spitting. He been spitting, but he wasn't always the best rapper out of Dipset. If any, we just stopped that now. I, I don't, I think it, you're using the wrong word. If anything, he may be the most consistent rapper out of Dipset. <laughs> I can't say he's the best rapper out of Dipset. Go play Cameron's last album. Yeah. And go play Jim Jones' last album. I'm going to do that. And then next week, I'm going to ask you again, who do you Wait, feel like album? is the best rapper Just because rapper he had a Dipset. better album doesn't mean make him the better no, rapper. And then go to the next last album. What you mean? And look, compare it up. But look, though, <laughs> because it, bro, it, was, it was shifting because We're at, talking first, about the whole album. at first, it was for me, it was Cam, then Joel's, then Jim, then Joel's went up there. Joel was that nigga. And then I started listening to Jim, and I'm like, Man, this nigga got some bars, cuz before balling. Like, but Jim wasn't the frontliner though. I always fuck with Cam though. That was, that's my yeah, favorite. Cam always. Yeah, yeah, I love me some Cam. Yeah. Purple Haze was my favorite. Yeah, you feel me? That was my favorite record uh uh album. Damn, I'm to show my age, time my record. What was, and, your, what was your favorite and, record? Uh Purple Haze from um Cam. That's my Haze, shit. That was, and yeah. come on now, yeah. Cam then show us love and dating too. Come on. He's steady repping us on the podcast. Me? I'm not going to be biased about some rap shit because he, he reps us in his music. Cleveland, Cincinnati. <laughs> that nigga Cam, like, my rap dad, like he from Ohio. He my dad Ohio. used to know Cameron. Hey, Scrooge, you at work, Testing, man. testing, testing. My dad Appreciate used to know Cameron. He got his computers Maria? putin over there. Computers, computers putin. be putin. <laughs> Getting them pounds. But hold on, let me see, because they said Jim Jones had something <laughs> to say about the situation. Uh, Arco posted this. Let me see. Want to hear? Here it go. <laughs> I'm all right. Give me a second. I got to I gotta get dressed for this party, man. I'll be, I'll be right with y'all. Promise you. You can tell he still love this shit. Promise you. I'm all right. Because he know he ain't I'm all right. fucked up. He <laughs> just beat their ass. I just watched I'm- it. Okay. I could just see when he, he just went, beat their yeah. ass for real. I'm about to say, yeah, right. He, <laughs> he didn't want to say too much, but. Oh, they need man. to make a new Def Jam game, bro. Def Jam Vendetta. Hell yeah, man. they need to make a new yeah. one. They ain't got, they ain't trying to put that bread mm-hmm. up. They ain't want to pay. Who all all would y'all want to see that. in the new Def Jam Vendetta? Fucking everybody that's everybody. rapping right now. One person. They got to bring back DMX. Man, you, oh, yeah. Who gonna be the boss? Literally, X is gonna be on the cover on, like. They gotta like, bring. It gotta be Jay Z. Who gonna be the boss? Who gonna be the boss? Always been the boss. Shit, no, baby. I mean, not till he got through out the window. Be, he's yeah, dead. He Come on, you know what? It gotta be Jay Z. It gotta be a new boss. It gotta oh, be about the, a new generation boss. Jay Z, nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it again. No, he's or, the boss of. Or, or yeah, Jay I guess Prince. he's the final boss. I guess. You talking about? You talking about the game when the big ass nigga with the suit? You can make Jay Prince the boss. Just the the boss, the, the boss, final person. The final nigga you gotta fight. Like he's just snooped out. At the end of the storyline, it brings you to your creative player versus this nigga. Mm-hmm. And it would be just Jay Z, hands be. down, or Wayne. or Wayne. So why wasn't it Jay Z on the first one then? Because Jay Z wasn't, wasn't the president. He wasn't. Even on he the wasn't yeah, Jay Z ain't mm-hmm. what he is. That's right why you now. say that because he was the president. I'm just and you nah, know, that may, no, that makes it that more valid. On that makes top it more valid. What he got going on I don't today? Know, Buster Rhymes, he 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 a good candidate for that too. He though. was like, always just a good character. On that shit, but he was always like, Which I'll bust front. your ass. <laughs> yeah, he was like always one of the hardest niggas. But he was always thing. on the good side. I ain't gonna lie, you know yeah. who might though? Jada Kiss, as the boss, not the boss, not the boss. He, that nigga, I could even see him as an under the boss of a of a borough. So, yeah, yeah, for so, sure. A bur- so damn, so of a borough. We talking about the last person you fight on the game before you see the ending credits. Not Jada. It gotta be Jay Z, bro. I can't see Buster though. I mean, no, nah, I can't see that either. Buster gonna yeah. help you get to there. Buster on your side. <laughs> well, if it's top tier. Oh, so you talking about like be, the villain? I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Shit. okay. Like you okay. ain't like yeah, top shit, Drake. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> oh, I got Maybe one. Maybe 50, 50 Cent. What about 50 Cent? What about Jay oh, Prince? Ooh. 50 good. What about Jay Prince? 
No, he's nah, just like Jay Prince. Can, no. He'll be a good one. He didn't. Yeah. I see him like the puppet master. Care about mob ties. That's, like for sure. Yeah, Rest like the boss that don't never. Yeah, like he like how I knew you go fight this. Other I need the Migos <laughs> to be on the game, be able to fight. I need to see Chris Brown on that motherfucker. I'm done. Uh, yeah, nah, I need they are not about to put Chris Brown. Uh, I need no to see cat. everybody on that The game going to get canceled. Why wouldn't they? I need to they, see the game on they, there. I what need if, to see what, why. what if they make uh, Diddy a boss from over Because Rihanna. Diddy strings that's, that's, why. <laughs> that, that's why. He didn't beat up Rihanna. They ain't going to let Chris Brown. Hey, they ain't him on there. I Damn. think if they really get, did that, that would cause more real beef. You think so? Hell yeah. I think niggas would be in they and I just I think ratings Drake, and shit like that. I think Drake and fucking Kendrick will really be fighting each other online on that motherfucker. <laughs> they already <laughs> doing that shit on w, uh on, on w, uh the wrestling. Yeah. W- uh, are they? They done created the uh, You didn't see the one when like it was cold. Huh? Speaking on the off of, real quick. Shawn Michaels just made a post or something. Uh he invited Kendrick and motherfucking Drake to come to uh It's a topic. <laughs> W- it's a top. W- you you walking all over a Segway right now, screw. I'm sorry. We I mean we talking about the shit. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Let him, I thought start on his mind. Get shit, I thought. He, <laughs> I said you thought he got. I thought, it's I like, thought he shit, brought the first hand inside. Yeah. On the female side, if they did bring back that game, they gotta have the city girls on there. Hell yeah. They gotta have Nicki Minaj, Sukiyana, Cardi. Be on there. Okay, so who, who'll be a female Nikki. boss then? Nikki. Nikki. Yeah, Cardi and Hands Nikki down. already. Nikki. Roman. Nikki. And, and her name on the gang gonna be Nikki. Roman. And Remy. Yeah, <laughs> nah, Remy. Be Nikki. Yeah, Remy. Nah, <laughs> Remy already been in the game. She's just, she already been in jail. She ain't too, never so. been. She's she never, never been, been at Nikki's that, level. Nah, Facts. Nah. Mm-mm. Don't disrespect her though. She still won that no, battle. No, she won the hardest. Roman. But I'm she saying like. She won that battle though. But are we only talking rappers? Yeah, that's the that's where the We said Chris Brangers. Beyonce then. She on that whooping ass. If Nicki can make it, if Jay Z gonna be the boss, she might have to be the female. I don't want to play it if they put her. What was that shit back in? That's he said. I don't want to play it. Can't have both of them. The new shit they say now is op. Yeah, nah, it's overpowered. Got to got to have Rihanna on there. She a boss bitch for sure. What's Beyonce's sister name? Salon. Salon's oh, gotta be on ass. your side. She Salon's feet. gotta be on your side. She tears Crawford. She whooping feet on that elevator. <laughs> she, she hold Jay Z off. And, hey, <laughs> if she was a player, she was a main person, I'm picking her because we already know she could whoop Jay Z. The yeah. ball yeah. head. <laughs> yeah. The ball head. Right, That's what I'm saying. That should have caused real eternal beef. Hey, Nigga, I'm choosing her lit. off Rick. Hey, like, Jay, you let Salon's whoop your ass. That shit shit fucking lit. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all funny. Y'all he funny. said, hey, B, get your sister. See that, that Family Guy episode when they in the elevator? Yeah. Oh shit, man, that shit was hilarious. Jake, Jacob is cool though. I don't fuck with him. Oh yeah, you got. Oh, can I throw in a curveball question? Let's of course. Let's go. My let's dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. My son taught me. He be teaching me dances. <laughs> Keep me young. All right, y'all. So look, if a woman falls asleep after sex. Without washing, she is A, nasty, B, normal, C, a woman who just got done getting some good ass beep. C. Yeah, put her to sleep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she is, <laughs> that, that's a C. Now, that's a, if, that's she a C. if she don't... Knock him out, Rick. If she don't... <laughs> Knock them out, Rick. You know what I'm talking about? If she don't motherfucking uh, if, if she don't take care of that shit though after she done got up though, then and, you know what I'm saying? If she go about her day after the, after she done woke up, up from this from this from, yeah, from this sex coma. Yeah. She wake up and put some pennies on. She then now, now now we at the A and the B's and shit. You know what, what I'm saying? Snoop, what Snoop Dogg said about Gail King? You a nappy head, funky <laughs> dog head, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with Mama going straight to sleep after she didn't took this goddamn beating, but. uh It's either about it's it, to me. What matters is what you do after this. Okay. That's most okay. definitely. Who's Cause next? Because I'm going straight. To, I next? might go straight to sleep, and I ain't watched this dick neither. I just came up <laughs> out this motherfucker. I'm laying straight on the sheets. You hear me? Mm-mm. Okay. I agree. You agree? <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, you second that? <laughs> yeah. Shit. It's C for me. Like, I mean, that's the whole plan anyway. Yeah. Respectfully. If you wake up and you know it's 
Close egg whites and out the door. That's a problem. So. <laughs> he said, oh, wow. He said close egg whites and out oh, the man. door. I, I, that's when the wow. hands hit the hip. Like uh, <laughs> he said, hey. I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower looking at the bitch like she, oh, I'm in the shower. She brushing her teeth, then her fully dressed. I'm like, damn, bitch. Now, her, her rag still you ain't still dry. Yeah, oh, I'm here. That's what I'm saying. Her she's her she's still dry. Hell no. Nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna the rag for her teeth like everything sweet. I'm in the shower doing that. Like, damn, bitch, shit, you ain't going. Yeah. Look at Black Jesus. You ain't yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Shit, I'm going to wet the rag for her. You ain't getting yeah. up out of here like that. <laughs> nah, yeah, you can. You just you can't come her. back. You just can't back. <laughs> You can get up out of here like that. You just can't come back. Y'all say, fuck an ex uh, tattoo, bitch. That pussy is wet. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> Beat the block. <laughs> <laughs> shit sound like Sour Pal Skittles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Need no answer. You ain't answered. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't answer what? The question. I thought I did answer. Oh, the he question. did. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah, he said. Straight. He said C. He yeah, said C. It's, it's C. I hear him elaborate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I elaborated. It's C, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right, child. That's why I said it's That's, after the fact. Because you know, I mean, where I got this from, I was reading the comments, and it was some bougie girls up in there talking about, oh, she nasty if she don't get straight up. Nah, I don't. 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 I when a woman has lie. an orgasm, wait, what the shoot? Yeah, I'm talking about your soul come out your body, an orgasm. See, let me get y'all a little. little okay, thing. yeah, drop it down. Hold it's hold a hold difference hold. between. I don't know if I'm, huh? Huh? What? This mm-hmm. a personal experience? You about to? No, no, no. I'm, I'm right, just giving some little. I'm just, you know, I'm Making saying. Sure now, I ain't trying to. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm just saying. A lot of people don't know the difference between when a woman says she's. Like nut in her coming mm-hmm. versus an orgasm. Mm-hmm. A mm-hmm. nut in a come, that's her, 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 you know, getting juiced up and Stimulated. Which you needed that. Yes. And it, mm-hmm. it's, it gets, you know, moist and everything, which you mm-hmm. need that for the friction. You know what or, I'm saying? Or, or orgasm mm-hmm. is when she start crying. That orgasm is what y'all experience when y'all, like, you know, do y'all thing. It When it comes to a mo- woman, oh my gosh, when it happens to us, it's like, Sucks out your damn uh, soul. So, oh, all right, so when the when, when the <laughs> oh, wait, you, hold, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you said that as if you knew what it felt like when your soul snatch. I get mad every time me and Russell. No, I'm, see, I'm I sorry. told you don't make this personal. Hold up, so I'm sorry. What, what, I what, said I could have sworn I seen the light coming. What from is, heaven. What's, the, what's the leg shake? Huh? What's the leg shake? <laughs> It could be that, but leg I mean, shake, eyes I, roll up in her head. She what, making a face that she, she usually don't make. I That's that. What is it when she start <laughs> crying? Note it. Note it. What is it when she start crying? When she, she crying, crying for. Her. I mean, like when it's over. No, it's over. What's going on? It's over already. If you, if she, if she ain't crying. What's like, she crying for? What is she crying in the middle of that shit? She crying in the middle? Like, yeah. She like, emotional. can't help Get yourself her. and start crying. You mean like actual tears? Yeah. Nigga, crying. Man, I, there's crying. a difference of whining and crying. <laughs> no, I ain't well, say listen. whining. I mean to the true definition. See, I think you understand what's going on, my brother. <laughs> yeah, on cries? everything. <laughs> on everything, like Who in cries? the middle of that there's shit. Of and that's what I was like. Shit. What is this a romantic? What is a romantic <laughs> novel? He said, "Is this the Titanic?" Hands. This is the Titanic. Hands over her face that's what I ain't gonna lie to you. You ain't see, never. You're see, talking literal a, tears. Hey, hey. Babe, they don't know what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> don't, I, 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 <laughs> don't make this personal. Hey, stop it, yeah, nigga. Stop it. I see what we gonna do this episode. Hey, but that's some different. That's some different type shit. You when you do. I have some type. The notebook. They ain't ready yet. Ain't ready yet. Yeah, you ain't ready yet. Y'all ain't emotional. Nah, okay, nah. next topic. <laughs> Y'all getting <laughs> emotional. All right, listen. All right, let's get up out of here. Yeah, for sure. It's about to get <laughs> real crazy. All right, so cop runs over 17-year-old. Police refuse to release dash cam of killing an officer's identity. The family of 17-year-old Kadarius Smith. Hey, somebody else read next week, too. I don't know who. We're going to rock, paper, scissors or something. Man, you read real good. You Thanks, ain't have man. To get, you ain't have to get hooked on phonics. Thanks, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? You got a B plus in English. <laughs> the, the family of 17-year-old Kadarius Smith remains outraged by the lack of information regarding his death. 
The team passed away last month after repeatedly being run over by police. Mm. Patrick Smith, Kadarius' father, says he only knows a small piece of information about March 21st death of his son. According to witnesses, Kadarius was walking home with friends in a small Mississippi town of Leland when a police officer and a cruiser allegedly began chasing the teenager, fatally running him over from behind. <coughs> I won't get to see my child walk across the stage next year, Patrick said. I won't ever have a grandchild because he was the last Smith. They took that from me. The Smith family has been calling for transparency from Leland police for weeks since Kadarius' death. They've been asking the police department to release the dash cam footage from the incident. Kadarius, his mother... Ka <sighs> That's why and, he wanted to leave. Charlotte, Charlotte McGain. <laughs> God damn, y'all got some names <laughs> over here. Uh, Kachia Calvert says, yeah. <laughs> K -A, let, and just so you don't think I'm bullshit, K A Y C H I A. Kachia Calvert said, that's damn near sound like a sneeze. Says she saw tire marks across her son's back. I don't, oh gosh. Man, I want to say, uh, God bless that that yeah. child's soul. Uh, yeah, the condolences to the family, man. Uh, mm -hmm. On the side of that, man, I ain't never taking my black ass to Mississippi. You can forget about it. That's one of the most. I ain't going. Like, racist states still. You know what I'm saying? That they oh, actually yeah, still. I ain't going. Got like deep. Mm-hmm. Sundown towns, everything, and yeah. a lot of people don't even know. Like Sundown towns still exist. Yeah, they exist. still exist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah. there are certain towns that y'all. You if, know what a Sundown town is, Peso? No, I don't. I was about to ask. Ooh. So you want me to? I, they so a Sundown town is a town to where where it starts to sunset. If you're a black, you need to get up out of here, or where you're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. And they, during they, the daytime, during mm -hmm. the, they riding past and they saying yeah. some of the craziest shit you done ever heard in your life. I've been in the Sundown town. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Nigger, I mean, but this is like just on some like they own personal grounds type shit. No, this it's is like this legal. is in city. This is this is it's like some legal shit. Like, yeah. town. So if black people out, it's okay to kill your ass. They're gonna they're Listen, going they to. So this, this is the, the whole town is allowed, in bro, on being you know, racist. Okay, there we go. The they, town, the police, the sheriffs, everybody is in on being racist. Ain't nobody so, so black. You in our town you now, boy. For no type, reason, you of me? course, it's illegal. They're not supposed okay. to kill you for no reason. Yeah. But who's yeah. going to say? Well, that yeah. they killed you for no reason. Because one of them mm -hmm. states just stopped, like, un they unlegalized lynching, like, down there maybe 30, 40 years ago. One of them states down there. So it's just like, nigga, I don't be knowing what's going on. I was mm -hmm. in a, I was in a sun down. after parties. Though, and it be the funnest down south. That's the craziest part. Oh, when you go down to like, certain places, Miami, places like that, it's, you feel me? Yeah, it's love down there. Them white people, nice. No, no <laughs> tourist spots, but though. We some white people about, bought me and my girl Alabama, shit. Alabama, Mississippi, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We talking about them dirt roads. You, you feel, feel me? me? Yeah, them on everything. Yeah. You talking about towns that you don't even know exist. You talking about places that... I'm hip is, to it, is, bro. ...is, is world-renowned. Uh, renowned. Those, like, I can't even, even... Because I know they exist, I can't even tell you I can't even name one off the top of my head. That's a sundown. You know what I'm saying? I've been but they one. In, but, but they in Tennessee. They, in Tennessee. <laughs> they, in they up here. They, <laughs> they, are, they are all around. Like, for real. They used to have a map. They used to have a map back in, like, uh, that went back, all the way back in, like, probably the 50s, 60s for black people, where it was uh, a map that showed you all the places when that was sundown towns right. and when you need to get up through to yeah. travel. What was that called? And, uh, I forgot what the, it was called. The, you what, the Green Book or something. It was they, they made a movie something like, like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> I um, it was an area. It was a certain area in Pittsburgh. I swear, y'all. Pittsburgh. That was a sun. Yes, that's why I be man. Pittsburgh. Fuck the Pittsburgh Steelers because I would never rep that team after hey, what well, I hey, went hey, through we ain't about to and do that, that section. Nah, I'm sorry. Pittsburgh. That no, area I was in. Damn. Man, when I say we was coming back from a girls trip from West Virginia, and that was the one time where listen, Brandy don't be scared of nobody. But when I'm outnumbered. Come on, y'all. Get your ass. Let's pump this what? gas. Yeah, They're yeah. surrounding us. Let's get the fuck up out. Yeah, it was a certain area in Pittsburgh when we was coming back from West Virginia. That was a sundown. Mm -hmm. Heck no. Nah. And it was daytime. I got a question. Let's go. One question. Yeah. Why the fuck was you on a vacation in West Virginia? Man, I don't. I should never listen to Patty yeah, ever in my damn life. We went to Morgantown. Oh my God. What the, <laughs> oh, yeah, Morgantown turned. Everybody I, kept asking Morgan us, are y'all lost? I said, should we be? Thanks. Mm. I was, I'm telling you, but we went to a Ooh, rave party and I was dancing with them, but they had jugs of water and everything. I would not try it. And the next minute she said, are you guys the police? I said, yeah, it's time for us to go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah. 
But yeah, I don't know. I I don't know why I listen to Patty. I never listen That's to her for another girl strip ever again. <laughs> See, I'm a I'm a, a girl I'm a dangerous black I'm a dangerous black girl. I don't even stop this gas. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some. Vi- I'm gonna send you some videos of what I went through when we was there yeah, in I mountains need, and shit. Yeah, I need to see. Scared. It. Like I'm a dangerous black. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a oh shit! Dang- <laughs> no, 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 I listen. He was about to say I'm a artist. I say I'm a dangerous black man. <laughs> Stay dangerous. <laughs> and, Stay dangerous, my dick. And the reason, and the reason why I say that, right? right? Because it's certain things that I think about that intrigues me. That it makes me want to define certain things. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Nah. No. Nah. Okay, so let me, okay. <laughs> but look though, right? Okay, so let me, right. so I'm about to make sense. I'm about to make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm about to make it make sense. So then let me hit that like, crumble. <laughs> hold on. Let me hit that. Hold on, hold on. Break it down, K dot. Yeah, Break drum? it down for us, K dot. <laughs> you said where that drone at? Mm-hmm. I understand. I, I understand your, what your position was because you have to be smart in those type of predicaments when you have other lives. In your hands. Pass that Patron by your right. lap, by your Come side. on, brother. Hey, hold on, hold on, your Kiera wine shit, bro. You tripping, my yeah. nigga? I'm sorry. Fuck wrong oh, you know what? Speaking of which, shout out to our our sponsor, Kiara Wine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kiara Wine. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm the, so you had to you some you you can't win every fight. You mm-hmm. got to pick and choose your battles, right? I be thinking like, I, you ever had a conversation where we be like back then? I'd have did this X, Y, and Z mm-hmm. because of the mindset that you have of today, mm-hmm. of who, you know what I'm saying, because of who you are and what you know you wouldn't have tolerated. So back then, if you was alive back then with the mindset that you got, of course, you know, what you, you know what I'm saying? Master would have been in trouble. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So fast forward that. And I got the group of, I got a group of white people who feel some type of way. I mean, I want to embrace this. Come here. Let me highlight you. Shit. Let me holler at you, because I'm going to give you what the fuck you're looking for while you think you... I'm going I'm to show you the monster that you want to portray me to be anyway. So let me give you what you want. Oh, he getting mad. We about <laughs> but, 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 so, so, so again, so... I like the passion. So, uh, so I say that, I say that, uh, that's why I, so like, I, I like the sometimes to entertain that, like if it was ever an opportunity to where I could, be in the environment to embrace that, I'm a sl- I know what I'm on. So what, but my question but, is... What fulfills you from doing that? What do you get from it? That part. And I'm, go ahead. Dangerous black. <clears throat> One already, you want to inflict pain on me. Right. So let me help you do that. Nigga. I'm gonna right. invite, I'm gonna invite, I'm gonna invite myself into your circle. Hmm. So because, show me, show I, So I because they are presenting themselves to try to get under your skin and do all of this, you like, all right. This is the repercussions that come from what. No, you're it's just that it's just because you want you feel like you can whip me anyway. So I want to be the one to prove to you. I want to prove you wrong. Repercussions. But they not gonna let. They but not I, gonna let them again, again, yeah. let them cook. It's it's it's, 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 it's again. It's what you. It's what I think. It's what I would like mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. I ain't say it's the right thing to do. I ain't say that I will go. I will sit up after this podcast. I will go and do that. Mm. But it's a thought that one that I entertain. But because I know it's something bigger than me or whatever, I, it, it's not a move that I would take. And I understand the I understand the mindset of ignorant people. But you going out there by yourself, brother? I ain't sit, let, listen. Yeah, because yeah, I ain't going. Listen, listen <laughs> they ain't stop making guns when they make, when they got them. Yeah. This is why because at the at the end of the day, okay. Pro, pro, the reason I I think like this <laughs> is this right. Mm-hmm. I but if I'm on something. You have to um, be able to. No kids involved, right? Right. That's that's your mindset. But if a purpose say fuck your kids, is it fuck their kids? It's gonna have to be, I guess. Oh my man. You know, I mean, what other? Choice I ain't got nothing else to say. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to think like other people in mm-hmm. order to checkmate them. That's true. I feel what you're saying, though. I feel now I get it. So I can't. I can't That's not really. I mean, but I can't. To, I mean, to I return can't. energy to him now. Oh no! But to return energy to sender, <clears throat> that's not trumping them. See, I'm petty as fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in getting even. I believe in getting over. Mm-hmm. Sure. You did me like this, so I'm gonna do you like 
this nigga like i'm gonna really you fuck you first get you. i'm gonna worse. really fuck you over so I got you, to get you me saying yeah. fuck your kids because you said my fuck my kids what is that that ain't shit mm-hmm. yeah. so you said fuck my kids now i'm gonna go fuck your mom do you feel like me that. like yeah. Or nowadays, grandma. I like that. Too. Who app? Yeah. yeah. I say that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I like that. Let's Granny can get another generation up. <laughs> Reciprocate energy. <laughs> and just leave y'all right here. I like like I said with the baby daddy tattoo, nigga, I got to be here. You so you sleep me? better so at again, night. Like, yeah, I did. That. So again, that's me speaking on that's, that's me speaking what? on the danger side. That's why I said I'm a dangerous black Let, man. Listen, because I, entertain, I entertain the danger of certain situations. I feel that. You All right, but listen, saying? you gotta us, be able to you gotta be able to know this. It's both. It's two sides yeah. of shit. All right, so listen, the unserious is unseriousness. Unserious this. I'm gonna say one thing, and we are gonna go to another topic because we damn near at the finish line, but. It's somebody that used to be a part of our podcast. And from time to time, we say some little shit over here on some Jay-Z shit to where won't nobody really understand what we talking about. But this nigga, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the other day he made a post and said, Oh, y'all don't think, oh, y'all don't think I'm paying attention. We all knew it was it's about us. Yeah. He jumped up there and said, No, we understand you a hundred a hundred percent perceptive, uh, attentive, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't com listen though. I didn't comment up under his. I just made my own post. I said, "Oh no, nah, we know you watching. That's why we do this shit, like so That's you can now. see it." And then what are you doing? Nothing. You lost. But still watching. I'm you lost. Was, lost. Still watching. You was a Sagittarius at heart, bro. Yes, I'm lost. I'm about to show you. Petty to as the, fuck to bro. the core. Hey, Octo <laughs> no, October's is what? What's what's what size? Scorpio is and Libras. Scorpios and Libras. October motherfuckers and Sagittarius, they are one of the most pettiest signs to walk amongst us, man. I don't get even. I get over. Um, all go. right, so listen. To get out of that, let's go to this last topic, y'all. Um, well. <laughs> well, what? Nothing. I just showed her what, you, what we was just talking about. I okay. Just gotta, I just ah, okay, hit. okay. You see what's going on. Yeah. Pop your shirt. Let me, let me see. You know, 500 subs later, you know, we still... <laughs> Bam! Oh. We still, all right, anyways. Yeah. Um, Two, two high school seniors solved a mathematical puzzle that was thought to be impossible for 2,000 years. Yes. You know they listen to K-Dot. Let's go, black people. <laughs> they smart. Are you math geniuses? Not at all. How did these high school students prove an ancient mathematical equation that was thought to be impossible for 2,000 years? We start with just a regular right triangle where the angle in the corner is 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we start creating similar but smaller right triangles, and then it continues for infinity. Am I going a little too? Yeah, you've been beyond me since the beginning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so are you math geniuses? Not at all. Right. It sounds like the Pythagorean theorem worms. I'm tripping. That was a meme right there. That should said tripping. nobody. Is, is this, is this a sarcastic <laughs> thing going on right now? Because I swear to God, that sounds like the Pythagorean theorem. That was a real thing. Man, look. <sighs> the only answer is it goes infinity. Man, I need somebody to fact check that. <sighs> Here you go. I need Listen, some smart ass shot. kid in the middle of Wisconsin to. That you know what the fuck they talking about? Six seconds. Wisconsin is crazy. Now, if that shit is true, <laughs> power. But man, I don't know, man. Two thousand years. We need TJ. Hey. Mm -hmm. We need TJ. I Somebody on YouTube man. gonna be like, he so shout fuck. out to them. Well, I, yeah, I, I mean, I fuck with like, you know, no, I wasn't is, good at math. I just know how to add, <laughs> subtract. <laughs> I do not divide and multiply. Somebody bring it. Sound like the Pythagorean theorem, bro. Now bring in the flux capacitor. Just need We're going back. Just need to know how to count money. That's all you do. That's all you need to know about mathematics. But shout I mean, out that, to them. That's solid, though. It sounds like the Pythagorean theorem, bro. <laughs> the, Pyth the Pythagorean theory. You ain't letting that go. <laughs> Why y'all don't believe it? No, I do well, believe I, it. Yeah, I believe it, but, you know, just I need some more Because her explanation was like, we just made smaller and smaller triangles, and then it goes it out sound, of right It sounds like they did it by what? accident. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? like, this was like, why don't we just make triangles inside of this triangle? That's mm -hmm. just a little clip. <laughs> it yeah, be like, Are you geniuses? She said, not theorem. at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm talking about right, the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? As long as you, hey, as long as Chuck in the back was the Chuck, y'all know no. what I'm talking about. Times he just said this know. word, man. but it's crazy. My <laughs> uncle used to say it all the time. He said, "I might not know how to do something, but I can show you how to do something." You know what I'm saying? Like I never really knew what that meant, but 
we know how to improvise and figure how to do shit. And, and, for, real, and for real, all for the real, time, it, take, it only takes the simple shit to define the wise, man. So, you know what I'm saying? What other people may complicate it, somebody will look like, damn. That's like in the Ruby uh, uh, The Ruby Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. come on. They're like, certain people, you get that. I mean, that's like mathematical, like for real. And they, you yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. This nigga did this shit in two, in, a, in one like minute, that, and it be bro. taking me like 20, 30 minutes to eat. <laughs> they just right. reworded that I, shit. They just, 20, they, I'm days, not cap, bro. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. So everybody's brain I ain't just, cap, bro. I know what I'm talking about, bro. Polygon they just, re theory. They then are just reworded that shit. Bro. Yeah, you that smart. You smart. You, you smart. You smart, my boy. He, <laughs> hey. You smart. Because uh, y'all, uh, I, I was peeping everybody. Y'all thought I was just saying. Man, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It looked smart. like I'm just looking at bullshit. But yeah, I believe facts. <laughs> so facts. listen. But it just sound like that's what they doing. You smart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So listen, before we get out of here, I want to give a big <clears throat> shout out to my boy OG BZ, a.k.a. DJ Ant B, with the Fly Underground on Fly 93.5 Radio. Uh, and let you know that the app is coming soon to the Apple and Google the, Play stores. Plug. That's fire, man. That's, that's fire. G. So listen, before we get out of here, I gotta know, Miss Brandy, what you got going on this week? Hmm. Uh, it's Mother's Day. I need some hmm. some flowers, some gifts. Cash App, Brandella06, <laughs> and Cash App for Mother's Day. Thank you in advance. Hmm. And yeah, y'all can send me a little something too. It's Mother's Day. Word. Let's go. All right. Other than that, oh, and my son about to graduate. A hey, class of 2024. That's huge. That's what's up. That's thank what's you, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And that's about it. Yeah. What about you, Yeah. What's going on? Man, I ain't got shit going on, man. You know, making it happen. <laughs> making One it day happen. At a time. Simply. Hey, making it happen. You know, me. <laughs> on the day three. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know, chat our day free. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I, man, I, I, they not like us. Look, they print, not like print, us. Prince, y'all live, Mike Jack. Yeah. Oh, we ho. No, you don't understand, Peso. He's a meanie. He tried to hit me. In, he tried to hit me and my mom with his car. Did I still not let you hear that? I'm gonna let you hear it yeah, when we yeah, go yeah, out. Yeah, I got to. Oh, um, a meanie. A meanie. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't, go, I ain't got shit going on. Just waiting to uh, go to work. Get some of these increments. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Appreciate you, man. I'm <laughs> back, baby. That money. <laughs> back, baby. Christmas about to be <laughs> awesome and nah, great. it's going to be hype. <laughs> Niggas, can start buying. Be hype. Niggas can start buying this Frank's wings again and shit. Yes, and making hey, tacos. Hey. Taco salad. Back to, making, back to making Frank's mad than the motherfucker. We used to walk in Frank's. They would look at me, and I swear to God, she'd be like, oh, I'm a hundred man. wings. <laughs> That's a nice. One time, we walked in there. She looked me dead in my face and just did this. Mm, mm, mm. It was so busy in there. She just That's shook her wild, head at me. That's like, a wild place. Man. She said, Sean, no. <laughs> she said, Sean, no. I'll, I'll literally go in there and be like, give me 100 wings. She was mad. Yeah, 100 Why? wings. Why? Them wings that good? I'm about to feed my brother, my brother, my brother, my sister, my brother, and That's I'm about sweet. to bring my girl some home. So she don't be giving me that. I can't believe you had Frank they, without me. Fat. They fat. It ain't me. They just fat. You know what I mean? Me. That's because she don't ever like to ride they, with it. They wings go go good, that good. Okay. Man, listen, mm -hmm. I was I, I, I was locked, I was locked up and at them that every day, even outside of pot, I talked to this dude. And this nigga, hey, bro, where you at? Hey, bro, we on our way to Frank's. Frank's. Pulled up at Frank's. Hey, what you eat, bro? I had Frank's. I had Frank's. I had Frank's. Oh, my stomach fucked up, bro. I think I had too much. Frank's. Yeah, I think she. I think I'm like, this, I'm like, bro, this nigga got coke. I'm like, what? They got cocaine in that shit, bro. This <laughs> nigga know. could not stop Damn, eating Frank's. Bro. This, nigga wings. Eat, this nigga eat Frank's like that. Now they used to be our religious move after pot. But enough about me, Yeager. Yeah, uh, uh, Arco Black D. <laughs> God you got bless him. Up? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm about to fall off the wagon. We keep. <laughs> Just keep calling me. What's up with you, bro? <laughs> Man, nothing. Just gonna continue to be entertained by this these NBA playoffs. You know, what I mean, it's it's a lot of new, not a, a lot of new talent out there. You know, new <laughs> generation being ushered into the game. Uh, on the side of that, man, chilling all. Pass on my body. Uh, Watching that club Shay Shay uh, and Gary Owens interview, man. I think y'all should check that out. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's a good, I seen a piece. Yeah, it's a good one, man. So I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm chilling, man. Peso. Yeah. What you got coming up, big dog? Uh, <clears throat> our podcast. Ooh. <laughs> hey, man. 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 Hey, man.
<laughs> yeah, so uh, new podcast dropping tomorrow, uh, episode two, 36, 30, I don't know, don't quote me. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, so promoting on that. Um, got some little little filming to do for uh, Fit and All, so, you know, we, you know, we trying to get dating back turned for, like, August, September-ish, maybe, to get these episodes done, so, you know, just a little work weekend, man. Oh, yeah, don't forget the wash. <laughs> I didn't even see you over there. Come on, man, the wash, I see. Oh, come yeah, on, uh, come on, man, quit being modest, okay, peso, yeah. man. Okay, yeah, man. All right, let me hey. pop my shit. Yeah, man. man. Stop. You know, it's the shooter. Edward Trigger Hands. <laughs> Edward uh, Trigger Hands. <laughs> nah, but yeah, so fucked we. Fucked you up with that. <laughs> Ooh, he fucked you, you up with that. that. Hey, he fucked you up with that. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm low key responsible for that, bro. <laughs> hey, that was fucked. Up. That's that hard. was hard. Let's I gotta go back to the drum board. Respect the shooter, board. man. Respect <laughs> the shooter. I, I ain't even, I ain't even post that yet. Hey, that's, that's a live drop now. Respect the shooter, man. Edward Trigger has, but look. Ooh, that's, um, that's nah, so yeah, we did. We started the movie, Go Down at the Wash. Uh, we had Midget Mac here. Uh, uh, a couple of Detroit players. I can't remember all their names. Uh, a couple of people out of town. So we did a four-day shoot with that. So we got about like 80% of that done. We still got to add that in. So is, do you feel like this is the the, the fastest project y'all have been able to Definitely. get done? Out of all? That was extensive my nigga because usually with fit and all we do you know a good a good month is like four or five days of shooting okay. because of everybody's schedule this shit was what tuesday to friday mm -hmm. starting at like 11 maybe noon to like midnight 11 o'clock so it just was like shit just around the clock like niggas out niggas was packing lunch <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like we don't got time to even Think about what we gonna eat, you know what I mean? Like, it's just fuck it, or go get some cousin Vinny. So yeah, that was the longest stint that I've like in the city I've done. So yeah, nigga, I was, nigga, I was defeated, nigga. I'm like, I couldn't wait till Friday, like nigga, cooling. So yeah, so it go down at the wash. Not sure when that's c coming out, but yeah, we got a good, good, good amount of that done though. You remember we had that conversation about content? Remember I called you? We was talking about uh. <laughs> Putting some content together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an idea for Yo, us. <clears throat> we gotta, I got we a got, fire one for us. We gotta act. Our text message, our thread. We gotta act on a few of them ideas we're speaking on. Yeah, for sure. I, but um, when I, I was watching the interview earlier, right, <clears throat> and it took me to run to run it back to realize what you was asking us. You asked us. You was like, you know, so for each show and each piece of content that y'all put out, it do the same promotion go behind it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that you talking about getting on Facebook and tagging people and highlighting and, uh, but you actually meant like, were we putting like promotion behind it? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I, I didn't, <laughs> but you know what? I didn't understand that until probably when we was on the way to dropping you off. I didn't. And then I watched it back today and I'm like, damn, he brought that up then. And I didn't understand it. Yeah. I mean, cause y'all just, you know, the platform, I, after that conversation, mm -hmm. like, I could see if I was to try to do that, like try to like just have different, um, you know, like what you what you reference to uh, Zeus Network. Mm -hmm. After your conversation, because you know, I ain't around nobody that's doing that. It's just uh, motherfuckers got solely their own pod, like YouTube channels that they ain't trying to convert into a network. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was wondering. I'm like, man, I don't know, like man, with the emotions or just with how people want they. They shit put out like far as with the different episodes, with mm -hmm. more views and whatever, whatever. I don't know. So I just like, y'all running an operation under. That's all. Yeah, I appreciate it. But I was like, <laughs> damn, I didn't realize what he was asking me in the moment. But I'm sorry. Oh, Black, what you got going on, <clears throat> Big Dog? Uh, too much or nothing, man. Life just been life, man. I'm about to get back in the studio, man, and get in, 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 uh, prepare for the summer and the winter, fall and shit. I ain't gonna lie, me screwed and Diego <clears throat> got one. Outside of that, um, we got, got a few. <laughs> let me be honest, but outside of that, though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's it, man. And again, life and man, pray for me. I pray for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And Amen. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. Until the next time we meet, man. Chuck. Well, Chuck's not mic'd up today. Our sixth man is is micless oh, today, Chuck. but I can tell you, he's working on podcasts. Yeah. He's working on um, video footage. He's working on videos. He's working on uh, 
Uh, shoot the fade. Shoot the fade. He's Everybody his wife. knows sports. You know what I'm saying? He cooking some motherfucking Chucky Buffalo dip. He doing all that <laughs> shit, yeah. man. Busier than Donald Hell, Trump. Yeah. That's uh-huh. Chuck, y'all. Man behind the machine. You hear me? Uh-huh. That's what he got going on, goddammit. The, the machine behind the machine. So um, great pod, everybody. Thank you. Uh-huh. Great pod. Um guess it's over, right? Man. Everybody has an opinion. Right. Everybody has an asshole. Uh-huh. And everybody got a podcast. Uh-huh. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. And you was tuned in that everybody has one. And we gonna leave out today with a song from Big Yego. What the fuck? And Nino Green. Oh, okay. It's a bad motherfucker. And it's called Boosie and Webby. Oh yeah, he's singing the head. And please don't forget, you're now tuned in to the number one podcast coming out of Ohio. Everyone's, everyone's. Put me on Tubi. I like that. Somebody, anybody, everybody, Bruh. tell them when we gonna see them. In, in a minute, minute boy. boy. In a minute, boy. Take it easy. Hold on, that wasn't loud enough. This one for Chuck. <laughs>